love bugs i am back with another video i hope all is well you guys i haven't done a review in quite some time so i am going to do a, another cleanser review if this is your first time to my channel i actually have a playlist dedicated strictly to facial cleansers this is not my first time reviewing a facial cleanser so check that playlist out in the description box i've done several other playlists several other cleansers on that playlist so definitely dive in take a look at it see what you guys think also hit that subscribe button and don't forget to thumbs up this video and check me out on instagram at beauty on the go with miss joe so if you guys can't already tell i am reviewing the indie lee brightening cleanser it promotes strengthening and protection of the skin so i went ahead and picked up this product I don't know much about Indie Lee. I do know that the founder of Indie Lee, and I believe that is her name, <laughs> um, but she went ahead and came up with a skincare line after she was diagnosed with a potential fatal brain tumor by her doctors. And they basically explained to her that, you know, your body, your skin is the largest living organism or living organ on your body and we pretty much absorb a lot of potential harmful things. She wanted to do a line that promotes healthy ingredients that will not be harmful to the skin. So I picked this product up from Sephora. You get 4.2 fluid ounces for $32. This has a four and a half star rating on Sephora. It is for normal oily combination dry and sensitive skin. This product says that it's a cleanser, makeup remover, and mask in one featuring vitamin C, potent antioxidants, and plant extracts to protect and enhance the skin's natural luminosity, clarity, and beauty. This product is geared towards anybody who has dark spots, large pores, dull dullness, and uneven texture. And you guys know I'm all about evening out the skin's texture. I do have to say the first time I use this, I absolutely love this product. This will be the first time on camera that I am removing makeup, however, but just on regular smuggler skin with nothing on it, this product does amazing. So continue to watch and see what my results are. So these were my final results. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it removed the makeup pretty darn well, especially my red lipstick. I actually recommend this facial wash. I am liking it. It's very lightweight. It goes on, it cleans your face really good without drying it out. And I have noticed my chin is trying to do a little something, something, because I have a black spot on it. But outside of this, if I had to rate it for, on a scale from one to 10, I would give it about an eight and a half. The only reason why I would do so is because I wish there was more product for your money. But until next time, y'all, bye.